Hey everybody, Scrap and 30s Chick here. I wanted to show you a quick project I did. Well, really, it wasn't really quick. It took me a couple hours from start to finish and picking out pictures and embellishments. But I got this idea from a fellow scrapper, and um, her name is uh, Canadian Nickel Scrappin'. And this is an exploding box. And before I show you, for details on how to do this, you want to go to Scrap, uh, Canadian Nickel Scrappin .blogspot com, and if you need to know the spelling or just grab the link, you can go to my blog at scrappin 30 chickblogspotcom and she she has uh, some wonderful ideas. Not just this exploding box. She may it looks like she gave the recipe for a killer mile high apple pie. So you might want to check that out too. But I loved this idea for Mother's Day. I think this is one of my favorite ideas. And it was actually really simple to make. It was just, it just took a little time. So let me get started on telling you how, what I did and what I used. And then you can go to her blog for details. I decided to add a handle on my exploding box. Um, it just added a little extra cuteness to it. A couple glittery brads and such. And the paper I used for this whole project was the um, Martha Stewart Playful Blue Paper Pad. Lots of wonderful colors and they're all double sided and it's thick which is wonderful for this project. I also made a coordinating card to go with it. So I'm just going to kind of slide it in there. I haven't decided if I'm going to decorate it or leave it plain because I do like all this, these different colors of uh, styles of paper. So anywho let me open up my box. Gently lift the lid and you have an exploding box with all of your favorite pictures for mom and a great keepsake. I used all different kinds of embellishments. I used the Ashlyn's alphabet for um, the mom. I also used the Cricut cartridge walk in my garden for the butterflies and I have googly eyes on my butterflies which is super cute. Use some buttons, used uh, some ribbon and you can use anything you want and I used a cuddle bug a couple times for some plain paper here. I have pictures of my animals and my nieces and nephews for my mom and it's just a wonderful gift. Any mom would be so proud to get this. So. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it gives you some really great ideas. Once again, it is CanadianNickelScrappin.blogspot.com and before I let you go, don't forget to sign up and comment on the giveaway for a quilted Cricut Expression Cozy made by Kathy. It is wonderfully made. Um, that is on my blogspot.com, um, scrappin 30 chickblogspotcom under giveaway 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 just leave a comment and mid-may I'm going to be drawing a um, uh, somebody's name using random.org so have fun good luck and enjoy the rest of your week thanks guys